Hey kids, welcome to uh, Unit 2, Lesson 6, Class Hierarchies, Exercise Number 2. We have an Investigate and Modify lesson. Let's jump into it and see what we have to do. The Library Item class represents an item that can be checked out from the library. The Book class extends the Library Item class and represents a book that can be checked out from a library. Run the program. What do you notice about the output? Let's look at our code here. In our main class here, we have our two objects we created from the last lesson. And it looks like we are calling a no argument object here of the library item type. Then it looks like we are going to print off our new item, our new book, and our another book objects that we created. And it looks like we have a print method and then it looks like we're printing off some dashes in between. This probably means we added a print method to our class. Let's see if we're right. We have our public class library item. It has two private instance variables, title and author. It has its no argument constructor here and it calls unknown for the title and author. We have our parameterized constructor here. And when you call library item, you can enter a title or author parameter. Down here we have our print method, and that is simply just printing off our title and author. Our book class is extending from library item. So we're getting all of these things right here, the private instance variables, title and author. And it looks like we're adding now number of pages. Our default no argument is just adding zero to the pages. Our parameterized constructor looks like it is calling for title and author from above. And you'll notice just when we called super without anything in there, that was just a no argument call. Now we're just calling the title and author from our library item. We're also adding number of pages now. Then our print method is calling the print method we had for library item, and we're adding number of pages. Pretty neat how we reuse some code using this super. Well, let's take some guesses what's gonna happen. I think when we run our new item we're going to get our welcome to java and code.org printed off i think when we call new book we're going to get computer science for all software engineer and a hundred here and when we call another book here for our library item our no argument constructor here should call unknown for both of these hmm let's see if we're right We got our welcome to Java and code. Remember in our print method, we do have title just like we do here. We got our other one printed off and our no argument printed off unknown, just like we thought. Now we're gonna change line seven to library item another book equal new book. Run the program, what do you notice about the output? So I'm gonna come here to line seven, and instead of calling the library item, we're now gonna call book. And under book, their no argument is going to be zero. I think we are going to get zero to print off instead of that unknown unknown. Let's see if we're right. And there we go, we got that zero, because again, remember the print statement, number of pages, number of pages, and zero. The parameterized constructor for the book class calls the super class constructor to initialize the title and author. In book.java, comment the call to the super class constructor on line 21, then run the program. 
what do you notice that happens? All right, let's go to book.java and then comment line 21. That's going to be our supers. Let's run and see, and then let's explain what happened. Hmm, we got unknown unknown. Why are we getting these unknowns? Well, we no longer have access to this new title, new author variables. All we have is number of pages. And if we go back to our library item, because remember, this is extending a library item here, you're gonna notice when we don't have any parameters to give, we are gonna get unknown, unknown. And that's what's being passed along right there. Key takeaways from this lesson, kids, is really understanding class hierarchies and how we're inheriting these parameters and methods through these classes and subclasses. And how we can use super to call those different constructors and methods. Hopefully this video helped you understand class hierarchies a little better. As always, kids, if you have questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later, kids. Bye. Bye.